The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industries down 280, Nasdaq off 99, S&P's down 33. Little hit. Quick hit, huh? That'll happen. That'll happen when you get a tweet like that. Yeah. Yeah. Taft's coming at you, baby. Yep. Gold contract. Gold contract up $8.80, trading at $13.01. We get silver flat, $14.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude taking it on the chin once again, down a buck sixty-two, $54.96 a barrel. That oil contract looks like it's going to get down to the lower end of uh, this range, which is 52 bucks, folks. Notes and bonds, bottom line is that uh, higher price, lower yield. 10-year note up 12 ticks, 126.02. 30-year bond uh, up 28 ticks, uh, almost a point. 32 ticks are a point inside the bond market, folks. 153.30. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 203 ticks, trading 97.310. That's giving it up at the highs once again. Euro is at 111. The yen is at 108.79. And the pound is out here at a 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Um, I guess, well, let's take a look at this oil market. I mean, guys, even the update, I heard five bucks. Right? I that, mean, at about like three, four in the morning, we were trading at 59.50 maybe. Um, look, yeah. Look at this. Seriously. You know, you, you go back, what, four weeks, and you're at $66. Yeah. 55, and this is what you're looking at, folks. See that 52.72 down there. Once, okay. Once you kind of broke into this, you know, while you're at the top, you, the 55.55 55 is the top of that range. The bottom of it is uh, 52. I, I suspect, folks, we're going right back down to this uh, 47. I mean, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. It should have some kind of, you know, support here for a bit, just because we've tra we traded there before we going up from January 10th all the way over to uh, February 11th. You know? Can you go IGPO just to see I just, uh, yes. the, the short term? I mean, it really was. It's pretty remarkable. So you go back four weeks, and it's like 10 or $11, right? Yeah. You go back like four hours, and it's five dollars. Not right. not really, but I mean, pretty. What's the high there? Yeah, fifty nine sixty three. Fifty nine sixty three. Um, okay, and that's two nights ago. That makes more sense. I was looking at the chart very quickly, and I was like, wait a second, how did it do that? Okay, so in the span of uh, one day, basically. Right. Um, and you know, you still get volume down here. You know, this thing's not over. No. Um, the S and P uh, bottom line is that uh, you know you can see you know yesterday how this thing was shaking out. You know on. Wednesday, you know, we get down with uh, 104 million. Yesterday, you pop higher with 62. Bottom line is that now what's going to really get interesting here is that we might be able to do, you know, 104 million today. It's going to be close because you get volume now, but most of the time on a Friday, this is summer trading now. You know what I mean? People yeah. will start leaving, you know, 12, 12, 30. The problem is, of course, if you're running money and, and the market is down, 250 bucks, it's like, okay, hold it. Am I really going to get in the yeah, car? And you better be careful. Yeah, exactly. How, so, how early you leave that office. Th there's no doubt. So there might you, be another tweet at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Oh, you never listen, know. It's, hey, listen, if this thing is going to come across, um, you know, I've said many times that once you start a fight, man, I mean, he's starting a million fights. So it's the bottom line is that uh, we're going to be paying. Yeah, there, well, there's, there's no literally choice. the American consumer paying. So there yeah, you go. There's no doubt. Um, the 10 year, so check this out. This is just pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, 2.16. There you go. Isn't that wild? It is. And if we take a look at it, what you're going to see, this move, folks, okay, um, has been fast and furious. It's been a one way move. Um, and, you know, the, there's no doubt, you know, it could catch some people on the wrong side because I've seen moves fast, but this is pretty incredible. I mean, what is that? Seven days ago, we were at 2.43. Yeah, almost 2.4. 2.4388 yeah. to be, you know. On, on the 10 year. Yes. And just so you can understand something, folks, the 10 year normally doesn't move like this, okay? Yes. You know, you, you, percentage wise, what is that? That's almost uh, 7 or 8%. We're down, uh, you know, down on yield in six days. Yeah. So, and which, you know, what's out here is that, that 2.01. Um, is just looking us right in the face. Now, the thing that's amazing here, watch this. This is pretty intense. 
If we go over to the TLT, what the TLT is actually saying is that we're going to go to all-time lows. Because the TLT... What's now, we were just on the 10-year. Now we're really going closer to the 20 or 30-year. That's right. TLT. That's right. Yeah. Um, what we're doing is that we're going to uh, the 10-year... The TLT is the 20-year plus ETF in the bond market. So that means that most of them were 30-year bonds. Yeah. They have 20 years left in them. At least. Well, okay. Yeah. And so what you have here is that what the TLT has just done... <laughs> It's launched the whole consolidation that we've been in since November of 2016. Since the election, baby. Yeah. So what they're saying is that now it has a shot to go to its all-time high. Okay. Which is 143. Okay. You know, we'll see how this shakes out, you know. And uh, where does that correlate in the 10-year yields? You know, that, can that you pull that back? 1.38. Is that what it is? Okay, yeah. Okay, in the middle. Well, it's crazy. It's like... 2016. Yeah. 10-year. And this is what's... Pretty, you know, so it's like, whoa, man. Oh, for sure. I mean, people better wake up to these uh, tariffs, you know. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Nope, one more back. That's, oh, yeah, that's no, no, what, I know. Okay. I'm just showing them. Showing, there's the 2%. Two, two yep, so we're so, over that right now on the TLT, right? Oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. What, Yes. This okay, is, that's, this, I'm, tr I'm trying to compare the two. That's, yeah, on right. each point. So that's, that's right. where we, we I wanted to see where we were in that, 2016. That's, that's, so the TLT is above that point right now. Exactly. Yep. And, and going then, for right there. Okay. Which is 1.31. 1.31. That sounds like a good 10-year yield. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. No, we've we got to be careful. As in that's, that's, there's going to be some harsh things happening in the economy if uh, we come down another eight-tenths of a percent from, yeah. from where we're trading at right now right. Um, on that 10-year. So right here, you know, at 2.1, folks, um, you got to refinance, you got to do something. I'd start the paperwork, man. Yes, you know, I, I would agree. Um, that's gonna, risk versus reward there, yeah. as in what's your risk? The risk is that they can go lower, right? Yes. Your opportunity cost right. that you missed, you know, right. you, you, you got in too early. But guess what? You're getting in at 2.1 in a 10-year. Okay? Exactly. You know, Which, the risk is that we were just no. at, what, what was that? 3.23, um, a Three full percentage point yeah. in October. Right. Um, so the risk is that that could easily pop back up above 2.5. There'd be nothing, as in, you know, on the graph, you're talking about nothing. No. Three, three weeks. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you'll see those 30-year those mortgage rates, folks, should be running about... Uh, like 4.25. Yeah. 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 At, yeah. A, at a couple percent on that 10-year, right? Which is amazing. Yeah. That's... Pretty amazing. Four point two five on a thirty year, not bad. Gold, gold caught the bid. Uh, bottom line is that you get the bid, you get the volume behind the bid. Oh, let's see, GCQ we're on. So what you have here is that, you know, what we had done yesterday is that we're coming, you know, what well, gold had broken the trend line and, and it, it did it pretty good. Um, you know, yes, they peaked this head, but this is what you want. You want you sure. want the wide price spread. You want the accelerated volume, which we have. We already have 191,000 contracts, so that's going to do like 350. And that's saying that guess what? Now game was on at 1361. What we don't have, which is a bummer, inside the metals market, folks, is that you still don't have silver. And that little problem child, man. You know, we'll see whether it's going to give the market uh, problems in general. But we'll come as soon as we come back. We'll do silver. Silver's just laying there flat, fourteen fifty-five. Dow Industrials, Dow's down three thirteen. Nasdaq is off one oh seven. S and P's down thirty-six and a half. There, right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down at 283. Nasdaq's off 100. S&Ps are off 33. Let's go to our man Charlie in Framingham, Mass. Charlie, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing? Good morning, Charlie. So good to hear from you, man. We're doing good. How you been? Oh, I haven't called in in a while, but I listen to you frequently, uh -huh. um, as, as always. We appreciate um, that. Anyway, you know, the, there's a good side... There's a silver lining in my life because of these tariffs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because if the, the American public, which 76% of it is in basically living paycheck to paycheck, the American population is going to be having a harder time to collect their delinquent accounts. Oh, my God. So yeah. clients are going to need, well, a diplomatic approach to be able to, you know, collect their money so they can stay in business. Right, right. And the bottom line is, I don't think very many people like what's going on, but it is what it is. <laughs> no, I understand, because you're a bill collector, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. No, no, I, I get it. But, yes, but yeah. you know, it's, it, it, it's a shame that all of this stuff is, is happening the way it is, it just, you know, I don't want to get too political, but I think you know I'm from Massachusetts, and we didn't vote, vote for Trump. But anyway, on the topic of stocks, I, am look, I, I actually got into this, uh, GB, S, SBGL. Yeah, Sabane Gold, okay. So yeah. let's take and, a look at this. This and, is a uh, spinoff from... Uh, Goldfields a while ago. Uh, lows two dollars. The highs four ninety four. They're a big processor in South Africa, so it definitely has to do with what's going on with the rand also. Um, so let's just take a look. So let me bring this back further. So okay, so you've been bouncing along the bottom. Yeah, this thing's got to make it through this 380. So I see. Let me get this close enough. So that's. 
So, Charlie, what you have here, right, is that this, that $3.80 um, is the number you want to get through here. Because you can see, I, I like how, you know, it actually did go higher. You know, you had that 494, comes back to 380. What's worrisome a bit here, you know, but this is a lot of these gold equities like this, is that the, um, it hasn't taken out, you want it to take out one of these swing points up here. Meaning, you know, up at this 540 area. Um, let me just go look at what the RAND's doing. So, okay, so the RAND is at 1460, which is good. So, what happens here, folks, is this, is that the RAND dollar is crucial to understand, you know, what is going on with, with this equity because uh, SBGL, right? GL. Yes. Because what you have here, so watch how this works, is that when they spun this off, Charlie, right, this, this company here, right, as long as the gold contract itself is going higher, they need very high gold prices because you, what you'll see here is that, you know, they take in 60 billion rand, okay? They, these are in rand numbers. But you can see in 2018 they lost money. They're saying in 2019 they're going to make money. Now, you can see the expansion of money that they're going to make is, seems pretty incredible, right? What mm -hmm. happens is that once they get to a certain point, and it looks like they're thinking that they're going to get to that point now with the price of gold, right, in 2019, a stock like this does go exponential because of the amount of gold that they really get out of the ground. They, they, this, a company like this gets millions of ounces out of the ground. The problem is, is that when they're losing $10 an ounce, <laughs> that doesn't help them, okay? And the correlation, because what happens is that, like, a good gold mine takes 10 tons of gold to get one ounce of, 10 tons of ore to get one ounce of gold. This company here will take maybe 20 tons, maybe more, because these gold mines that they spun off these are the original gold mines that uh, have been around for about 150 years. And they, what happens is that you're going down like four or five miles to get the gold. You know, but I'd, I'd stay right there for right now. You know, you just want this thing to get through this area of uh, 392, you know. That's a low from April 10th. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was looking at it wherever I am here. And I, I saw on the, um, on the daily chart, a little higher up, there, there's a uh, gap up yeah. at 455. So that's sort of where I was looking to target. Yeah, no, no, that's what, and that's what you want to get through. Because guess what? If you actually get through that and you have some power behind that, then you get real action. And I listen, man, I, I think we get action in this market right now, meaning in the gold market. And that day, Charlie, just so that day, the low 392 is just the day after that gap, the low. So that's that's where he's, it's kind of a full expansion from the – because it really – there's a big gap, but the day before is – April 9th, and you trade from 485 to 455, and then you gap open at 420 and go down to 392. So really, in the span of one day, you went from 482 to 392, just with the big gap in between. Right. Um, yeah. Good point. Good point. Thank you, Tommy. Let's just let okay, me, well, let me look gentlemen, at something. Have a, have a great weekend. Uh, thanks. I always respect your input. Thank you very much. It's always thanks, great Charlie. to talk to you, man. Have a great one, man. Yep. Have a safe one. So let's go, uh, oh, I know, the GPS, the gap. Oh, boy. <laughs> you talk about the gap, right? That's trouble. Look at that. Gap, Old Navy, not cutting it, man. Right. And, you know, they... they like the same, at, the big one there was comp sales, right? I think it was down 4%. Yep. And uh, sometimes that's priced in. Not not last night, man. I think they had a decline of about 1%, 1.4 maybe priced in. Uh, huge discrepancy when you're talking about mammoth numbers that they still do. Yeah. Um, they might not be doing mammoth numbers for long if they put up comp sales of 4% to no, the downside. There's no doubt. And you can see what you've yeah. done here, folks, is that we'll see whether you stand it at 1730. You know, you're at 1779 now. It was at 1712, but that that was a big high-volume spike down there. And you're going to have yeah. another one, you know. Oh, so yeah. but this is not, uh, you know, basically something that, well, we know that the retailers are having a tough time. Sure. Costco come out with numbers also. Um, Costco uh, made it down to uh, 1233. 
and you're going to see that's <laughs> that 35 right there, the 1235, okay. 1233, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's the first place. I, my, I suspect what we're actually going to have, folks, is it's going to build some cars and get probably down to this uh, 1228. How about Uber real quick? Oh, we, yeah. Uh, I know they pretty much no surprises, as in, uh, yeah. yeah, basically flat after they, their first earnings. And they lost $1 billion. Hey, up. expectations, right? Like I said, as in the market was hoping almost that's what was coming, as in the big worry was don't tell us that you ramped up something and you spent more than you thought, and guess and what? $2 billion I Right, lost. exactly. Dow, Dow Industrial's down 266, NASDAQ off 91, S&P's off 31. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is off at 265. Nasdaq off 88. S&P is off 31. And um, let's go take a look at GM, folks. And so... You know, my take is we're going down to that tw uh, December 26 low inside the S&P, and that's what we came off of. And if you take a look, it's going to be the, the car makers that get there first. You're going to see GM is, is you know, bottom line down from this uh, 40 bucks uh, in April. Uh, what you're doing out here this morning, you gap down, you, you're breaking a B point, and it looks like we're going to have the volume. You need 13.7 million, and we get 3.7 right now. So if this keeps up, you get an ABC down. 
Now, your A point on this is uh, 40, 45. Your B is uh, 34, 35, so uh, approximately $5. That gets you down to $30.52, and you get the high of the December low is 33.50, which we're at right now, and the low is 31. So as you see more sectors come down into that level, um, that's where the probability gets much oh. higher that the S&P is going to be there. You better, you better be worried. I mean, I mentioned it at the break. I mean, the, the real worrisome thing here is that we have just supposedly had a deal with Mexico, USMCA. Right. And President Trump basically just said, whatever, and I'm going to do whatever I want. So what is the incentive for China to make any kind of a deal if somebody's going to come out the next week and just unilaterally say, I don't care what kind of deals we have on the table, this is what's happening. Right. There's no incentive whatsoever. Right. So Trump's going to have his cheerleaders out here. Doesn't mean that they're based in reality, okay? <laughs> right. Um, because if you can't have deals, there's no point in negotiating trade deals at, at all. all. Exactly. And so that's what the market's seeing here. And so Trump's going to have his cheerleaders. Um, you know, we'll see what happens, but that's dicey well, stuff. Financially, we know what's going to happen. The market's yeah. already telling us. Listen, folks. the journal just had an article yeah. a few days ago. Eight hundred and thirty-one dollars. Every single person in the country is going to pay in tariffs. Every single person. Okay. Right. So, again, I thought we would get a tax cut. Cheerleaders are going to be there, but you know, I thought Mexico was going to pay for the wall. It turns out it's going to be the American consumer. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot more than the wall too. Yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and we'll see if we get an expansion of volume out here today. You get. Um, well, look at that. Poor stock. Well, we'll pull it. I see the analyst losing patience. That's the first stock. <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. Must be a biotech. Yeah, we might as well pull it up so we see what it is. So, this is. Uh, oh no! This is design, develops enterprise cloud platforms. So oh, this is interesting. Okay. So the low is today, twenty-five dollars. The high is sixty-five. Let's see what high is about a year ago. I'm guessing yeah. it's been quite a slide. So weak forecast. That'll always. What are you doing for me in the future, right? Yeah. That's quite a hit. Oh, yeah, so they got a couple big hits. My goodness. Yeah. It's a rewind. 64, 27, and uh, 23 is game. That's what it looks like. Uh, we go inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness uh, inside the Dow Industrials. Look at that strength. Oh, Travelers. At, everything's flat. red. <laughs> everything's red. So... You get the Dow down 251. Boeing's putting 34 negative points. Goldman 22. United Technologies 15. The least amount is Travelers is putting uh, well Basically almost flat. Um, yeah, yeah almost one point. Intel's flat. Yeah. Merck negative 20 cents. Look at that actually. The one of the companies getting hit as in uh, pharma. Merck, Pfizer flat out of the uh, yeah. Just interesting. The, the strongest. I guess they're not going to take uh, take it on the chin from the trade war, I guess. Well, yeah, that, they've already got killed. Mylan's well, been down every day. Do you know what I mean? If we, yeah. if we MYL. Yeah. If you, There's a lot of things that have gotten killed yeah. that are getting killed even worse today, as in the car makers and so forth. So, If we take a look at the strength versus the weakness uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength is Dollar Tree. That's up 1.2%. Marriott is up 7 tenths. Uh, now, the other side of that, Alexa Pharmaceutical is down 4.7. Allergen's up 4.5. A line in it, yeah. Um, Alta is, uh, oh, that's a line technology. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the braces. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, Ultra, let's go look at Ultra. So, Ultra came out with numbers last night. Not so well? I guess not. Yeah. Um, and, uh, look at that. It's rejected price. Kylie though. Jenner is supposed to be, uh, yeah. Providing she, them with printing presses for cash? Not, she, not so much yet? She, it, she got her, she got herself, uh, Quite a contract there. Oh. So let's take a look. Um, net sales, $1.74 billion. Earnings per share, let's see. Yeah, 326 versus 270. That's year on year, though, not versus expectation. Yeah. So we got to, maybe we can find. Uh, Comp sales, the estimate was plus seven. Now it's plus seven to 810. Want me to do another one? Yeah. Oh, oh. Just see it again. Oh, okay. oh, let's see. Yeah. They miss somewhere, right? Yeah. Mm, it's interesting. Maybe one, one more. No, okay, go. Yeah, well, you know what it was? It was last night that they actually. Yeah, came no, out I know. It. Oh, geez, you're back to me. You're in April already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep going. One more, I think. 
Let's try and find where. Uh... Go ahead. Where I don't no, know. No, I to. guess okay. it's. Let's see. Right here. Yeah, we'll pull up there. Uh, we'll find it somewhere. And if we just take a look at their numbers, let's just take a look at this because it's quite a growth story, man. I mean, yeah, 2015 they do 3.2 billion. They look to do 2020 7.5. They're gonna. They've done. They just did 1.7. Look at that number, man. Yeah, mammoth. <sighs> um. We've seen some of their stores, though, in terms of they get they get some bills, uh, but guess yeah, what? They do. They're, they they're, do. they're printing. They're printing earnings. Too. Yeah. Ten bucks. Because what happens, folks, per square foot, of course, is that you get a little tube of lipstick that costs twenty five dollars and <laughs> twenty five if you're lucky, probably. Yeah, really? Seriously. Yeah. And it's like, you know, so I think twenty five is going to be on the discount per, rack per, in there, per uh, square foot yeah. inside a retail place. That's what you're looking for. But man, they got some square footage. As in, I haven't been out to Vegas on the strip in a few years, but I always uh, that Alta. Do you remember that Alta on I don't. the Vegas Strip? Oh, it's a mammoth one, right? Right around the Caesars. The okay. whole, um, yeah. I mean, you know, and you know, Vegas. They probably have a million people who walk past that store in a day. So. Oh yeah. Um, but. Yeah. Let's go over to the gold contract. So gold's continuing uh, with some action here. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see if it can get, uh, you know, basically some real traction. It, it all depends on really, like, coming into this weekend, how many people actually shot this market, you know. But that, this is a good move, man. This is, you know, you can see, just looking at this, you don't have to even be in technical analysis to see that, okay, you know, that line there has broken. And... You know, it's broken before. It, it, the real kicker is going to be, can it stay? I mean, that, that was a nice, decisive break. What is that, May 13th? And then it gave it up. That's when yeah. we went from 1280 to 1306, 1308. Um, following day, it got a little bit higher, gave it up, came back in. I like that that, that actually happened because what happens here, watch this. When, when that came back in, oh, I got to do the other contract. One second. So, so GCM... You what, can just put it on a continuous. Uh, well, what happens? The volume's not there. Okay. It's, so what I want to show you is that, is that as that you know we had popped higher, you had popped higher with three hundred seventy nine thousand contracts, then you back down with two thirteen, and you know so that's what you like to see. Yeah. You know, and it didn't break the lowest swing. Then you had another sign of strength on the twenty first, um, and then the, the danger one was uh, Tuesday. It pulled down, but didn't break that lower swing. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. And then, guess what? It said, see ya. Don't want to be ya. 1300 Higher price, as, even as we're talking. Up 1570 Yeah. Oh, no, that's the other contract. That's it's right. going to be pretty similar, though. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 279. You get the Nasdaq uh, down 90. S&P is down 31. And uh, gold keeps going, man. We're sure 16, uh, 1610 right now. Let's go to our man Lou in Spokane, Washington. Morning, Lou. How you doing? Hey, Tom and Tommy. Uh, Morning, you guys Lou. do a, a wonderful job. I, I really uh, appreciate the hell out of you guys being on the radio. No, we, well, we appreciate calling, you prowling man. and prowling with us out here. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I'm doing that. <laughs> and you know, uh, Tommy, I picture Tommy like he just got out of college, you know? He Good. Did. Let's, I he hope did. everybody <laughs> pitches that, man. It, it, Lou, we got to get you calling more I'm often, man. For all this time, I'm thinking, man, this guy go, knows a lot for, you know, because he sounds so young. I mean, this guy knows a lot for just getting out of school. <laughs> we'll go life. with that. We'll go with that. We're going to keep it right there. Totally. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, you were rem remarking earlier on these long bonds and uh, how the rates are setting up to go lower. And, you know, I could just hear it in your voice, you know, how the hell can this happen, right? Well, it, it, it seems uncomprehensible that, yeah, we're, we're going to be down at 1.3 again, right? There's no, there's no doubt. You know, Especially now, from like a month ago, right? right? My goodness, yeah. Now, that being said, what has always intrigued me is that, you know, when you look around the world, and the, I got that screen up right now with the world rates, it's like our rates are so much higher, and I've never quite figured out, like, so how does that work, right? You know? Um, well, well, you know, that's true. And, and, and if you look at the world, there's anywhere from $250 to $350 trillion in debt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, nobody can put their finger exactly on it, but that's what I figure. Somewhere in there. Yeah. And there's no way in hell, well, maybe there's a point zero zero one way, you know, that that can ever be repaid in real terms. That's correct. Right. So, so we're either going to have inflation or we're going to have default. And everybody's saying they ain't going to default because, you know, yeah. that's not good. So they're just going to inflate it away. Well, this gets intriguing, folks. So what Lou's saying is this. So watch how this works. In a fiat system... The way that a fiat system is absolutely set up is that the amount of money that is borrowed can never get paid back. That's why there has to be bankruptcies. That's just how it's set up. I'm not agreeing and disagreeing, but that's fundamentally how it works. Now, what gets intriguing here is that as you do go into a negative rate, that math doesn't work. If you go into a negative rate, that means that actually people, you can get it wiped out, but you're getting it wiped out on a negative rate, which is pretty wild. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. Uh, you know, the the best way to wipe it out would be to inflate. That's why the Fed wants at least 2%, because over the course of time, then you're paying back money that is less expensive, you know. But they've had, they're having a hard time getting that at 2%, you know. So it, se it seems that, I mean, when we talk about this, the stuff that you actually need, whether it's good food, clothing, shelter, not clothing, shelter, um, you know, Medical care keeps going up versus the stuff that we don't need, you know, the stuff, shirts, whatever, we, you know, it keeps deflating. So 
You know, we'll certainly well, see where well, we're. You know, Tom, you know, you, you know what I'm worrying about right here. There's this. Let's say it's three hundred trillion dollars in 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 debt, right? That generates this huge derivative book that, that everybody's hedging against that, right? So they got this huge derivative book, which has worked out so far in my lifetime. I mean, uh, you know, we got this huge amount of derivatives. But what happens if those long-term rates move, say, 1% in a week or a month, or, or 2 or 3% in a month? What happens then? Then you have blow-ups. <laughs> and that can happen. You've got the biggest financial explosion this world's ever seen, and I don't think the feds can handle that. Oh, I, think my, I, I hear you. But my take is that the... What we saw in 2007, 2008, depending, you know... I won't see another one of those. Tommy might. Um, that was that was like the depression. That was to, the way I look at that. That was a total wipeout. What ended up happening, you know, I've seen like three wipeouts, but most of them were regional, right? That one there, right. the the market went down, companies were going down, businesses were going down, the cash stopped. That to me was a total wipeout. So you're starting it with a much cleaner slate. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's why I think this expansion has been going on so long. Because I still think people are definitely uh, more conservative than they were in 2006, 2007. I think one, one of the parts of these rates continually to go down is that I think people still do have cash off to the sidelines and they will not spend it because they got through 2005, 6, and 7. You know what I mean? So, but you know what, Tom? I think your son's going to disagree with you there because... Nothing got paid off in 2008. It got papered over, and now the debt is at least 50% higher. Nothing got solved. They papered it over by printing up uh, 20 to $30 trillion. Yeah, but well, the, the, it did get paid off. There's, there's plenty of things that got paid off. You know. Well, it got wiped out, too, as in people losing their that's, properties. That's paid off, right. exactly. Well, that's, it's not quite paid know. off. I, I'm just... It, yeah. Yeah. Some some people lost a lot of money. That's oh, oh a lot sure. of people did. Yeah. I'd say that yeah. I mean that's yeah. There's no doubt about that, man. There's, yeah, you know. But time solves things too. Time can you know. <laughs> everyone gets up in the morning and goes to work again. You know. So when you have the aspect that uh, you get 330 million people getting up and going to work again, and it's 10 years later, guess what? You know. And then there's plenty of people like we talked with Jack Leeson. You know, he, he, Jack Leeson's never seen a, a, a bear market. You know, and he's been in the market for 10 years. And he's a smart guy, you know. So there, there's all these different variations that are out there, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, so, hey, how is the weather uh, out there? You, got, you guys well, kicking the summer yet? Today, today we got a beautiful day. It's been, uh, last few days, it's been nice and uh, kind of summery, you know, up in the 80s. And, uh, nice. Actually working up a little bit of a sweat going out there now. That's a beautiful thing, man. You know, it's amazing is that we've been on that station now. I kind of, I, I don't know. I, I bet we've been on there like 13 years, man. Maybe longer. Biz, Biz News Network. Yeah. No, it's, it's a great station, man. We really like you people, love you people out there. I mean, that guy really gave me a break a long time ago, uh, and I really appreciate oh, yeah. it, man. Yeah. So. Yeah, they got a, they got a lot of uh, good shows on there. And uh, like I say, I, I rarely miss you guys' program because uh, we get a lot out of it. Well, we appreciate it, man. Listen, you have a great one to say for him, man. Great talking to Lou. Okay, you guys too. Thanks, Thank Lou. You. Have a great weekend, man. Let's, you too. Let's go to our man Jim in Minneapolis. Jim, what's happening, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy. How are you guys doing? Good, what's man. happening, Jim? Great to hear from you, man. Hey, you know, great, great to, uh, great to hear from you guys as well. We're uh, finally got summer cooking up in the up in Minneapolis. 80, Perfect. You know, 82 today, sunny. Oh, beautiful. I, you know, it's crazy. The, the last time that we talked to you, man, it was like below zero. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I when know, you called. Was, it was, uh, you know well, what I mean? I remember I talked to you lab. Uh, Bitcoin was around 4000 bucks. And yeah. I was just dipping my, dipping my toe into it. And then on April Fool's Day, it took off. And yeah. <laughs> the games are on uh, on there. But um, Hey, just stay with us a I, second. We'll talk to each your bank as soon as we get back. Got it. Uh, Dow Industrials. Dow's down 243. Nasdaq's off 73. S&P's down 27. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man uh, Jim from Minneapolis, and we're going to be talking Deutsche Bank. So, what are we doing with this baby, Jim? Well, I'm just kind of watching it as the you know the canary in the coal mine, um, as the way this thing trades. I know they're what, what, the the book and their derivative book. I read something the other day that you know if, if they were actually to mark their book, a four percent drop in value would blow these guys out of the water with all the derivatives and the leverage. And obviously, these guys are you know, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're BK as they as Hanging they on by a thread. Right? Yeah, no, I agree. I yeah. mean, I wouldn't be buying it. They, we, no. Well, we're no. going to see, this has been a long downtrend, folks, and, you know, Deutsche Bank is a monster. It's, you know, Germany's one of Germany's biggest banks. They're going to have to come in and save it. You know, and that's been going on like for three years now. So the market cap's only fourteen billion. I say it as, and that's nothing when you're talking about a worldwide known bank, nope. right? I mean, it's, nothing. It's, that's, yeah, it's you know. Well, I know they they tried to merge this thing. You know, that's usually the way they try to pay yeah. for these things over is bury them inside something else. And, exactly. You know. And even that wasn't going to work, right? No, because no. the the and the other bank was weak too, and the other bank says no, no, no. They weren't yeah. as weak as Deutsche. <laughs> exactly. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They say no. Please get you learned that away real, from me. Real quick, that yeah. uh, Deutsch was the dog between those yeah. two. You know, and they were so, does, does the chart should suggest that you know, going to zero, or is, yes. it, is it to that point? Yet? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it has been for a while too. I mean, there's there's nothing below this, you know. And yeah. I guess the way that you really, you know, 
when you take a look at this, it's just like, okay, so you, you get the cap there of, uh, what, 14 billion, and you say yep. you get a cap of 14 billion, and you take in 24 billion? I don't think so. And just look at all the growths. Yeah. Negative, 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 negative yeah. three-year growth everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So be Got careful. it, guys. Have a well, great, great to hear from you, Jim. Weekend. Have and, a great weekend, uh, man. Take it by storm, guys. Take it by, take storm, it by storm, baby. <laughs> I like it. Take that Taz Market Profile by Storm, too, folks. Check it out on the front page of uh, TFNN right under the featured content. Stay right there. we get Fast Market coming up next. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks.